hi guys i'm going to quickly show you how i stretch my afro wig from this shrunken beauty to this voluminous beauty here keep watching guys it's incredible how much this <laughs> to my channel in today's video i'm going to quickly show you guys how to stretch your kinky wig this is my kinky afro wig and i think i'm even wearing it the wrong way but this is my wig you can see the wig the hairline i'm going to quickly go ahead and show you guys how i stretch or how i keep this wig stretched it's not a long process it's the simplest way i'm just going to simply put it into chunky twist that is all i do and you don't even need to moisturize the wig before you put it into chunky twist the reason i'm putting it into chunky twist on my head guys i'll go right ahead and start the reason i'm putting it into chunky twists on my head is because it's easier to twist the hair when it's on your head than when it's laying somewhere so it's much easier to twist it on your head when the wig cap is stretched too than it is to twist it when the wig cap is off your head alternatively you can put it on a mannequin head and then twist it before you put it on so this is simply what i do i just stretch it a little bit and then i part that section into two guys it's kinky hair so and it's also synthetic so i really do not stress myself over this wig i just make sure that it doesn't shrink so much and then i and then I twist it into the sections, sizable sections, and I'm good to go. When I want to put the wig on, I usually clip off the excess like this. And then I'll go ahead and do that for the rest of it. So I'm done twisting the whole wig and I simply take it off <laughs> and that's that. This is what the entire wig looks like. Like I said, it's much easier to twist it on your head because then the wig doesn't pull off the way it would if you place it on a mannequin head or if you want to do it otherwise, but it's much easier this way. It's incredible how much this... It's incredible how similar the texture of this thing is to my hair by the way guys I'm selling these wigs so if you're in Lagos Nigeria and you'd like me to make this for you kindly leave a message in the comment section I'm also going to leave my social media handles in the description box and my email I'm not going to leave my number yet but you can reach out to me on social media if you want one of these and I'll definitely make it for you I make them from scratch they're beautiful handmade wigs so and they're also very durable I've had this one since last year and it's in perfect condition so so it's the next day and I'm about to put did I say next day sorry guys I actually filmed this part of the video before I filmed the part showing how I twisted the wig but anywho I'm going to go ahead and place the wig over my hair I didn't put a wig cap before wearing this wig because I was in a hurry but basically I place the wig over my hair and then I'm going to go ahead and oil my palms a little to help me separate and fluff the sections of twisted hair after this the rest is really easy I don't comb this hair I don't fluff it using a pick comb I simply separate with my fingers and then I shape it with my fingers so that's basically how easy this is
so i'm done separating and fluffing my wig i'm going to go ahead and clip off all the excess tangles all the knots and all the hair that's sticking out in weird places and after that this is pretty much all that i do to get this wig to look really full yes i'm going to quickly say that you don't really have to clip off the ends and i'm also going to say that you will not always have to clip off the ends every time but i kind of like my wig to look as close to perfect as possible so anytime i see the slightest oddity i take it out and that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching please do not forget to subscribe and to stay subscribed give this video a thumbs up leave all your comments in the section below and go ahead and share this video out thank you guys